the teams walk out into the early evening sunshine in Wellington. Great rivals. This could be something quite sensational. It's South Africa against Australia. The referee, Bryce Lawrence of New Zealand. And the Springboks kick off. Australia looking into the sun in the first half. And they haven't taken that cleanly, although I think it's been knocked back by the Springboks. So they'll get first use of the ball. And Furry de Priya straight away. They go to Victor Matfield, stopped by some good solid defence. Jacques Furry running into the heart of the Australian defence. So opening moments of the game. Who's going to get the best start? The Springboks have shown themselves to be nigh unbeatable in World Cup matches if they can lead at half-time. But, oh, Matfield, he's just so good. And they hand it off to Skulkberger just to make a few metres. Australia will look to counter-ruck here. Oh, that squirts out on the Australian side. McCabe hit hard by Lambie. Paul oh, Little scores! <laughs> Springbok's first mistake of the game, and the Wallabies pounce. Oh, against the runner play as well. The Springboks executed the lineup absolutely perfectly. Matfield soared into the air. The ball there from Berger, they took it up. Then it was the turnover. What a mistake to make on your own line. It's nice, good ball. This is a set play. Brusso's right on him. It's Samo that comes over the top that rattles it. From there, it spews out. McCabe, well, it was on, but he just held his patience. Horwell busts his way through. Against the runner play, Australia have gone in. How pumped up are they? That might just take a bit of the wind out of the Springbok sails for a moment or two as O'Connor lines up the shot at goal. JP Peterson made the run. O'Connor with the conversion. He's missed it. So in well, theory, should he be able to take that take again? Take that shot again, yeah. He should, absolutely. We've seen this before with O'Connor. He has this funny little mannerism when he's setting himself. He hasn't actually started his approach to the ball. Apart from in that Ireland game where he missed with a stomach bug, throws long. And it's James Horwell who scored the try. And here come the Wallabies charging ahead. Great drive from the forwards, although Springbok sends a chance to counter ruck, no penalty. Well, Duke to see had to give up. He was in the side for me anyway. If he had just gone in there, he'd done enough to slow it down, but he persisted and then got done for playing the ball on the ground. So missed the first one. They won't be able to charge this one, of course, being a penalty. And there it is, that little movement that he has just before he comes in. Struck that one better. And Australia lead by 8 to nil. Stain now. Out into centre field. Finds a skipper. Nice offload away to Scout Berger. Springbok's trying to get things going before half time. That's a penalty. A penalty yeah, and a cynical one. Yeah. Paul Wall this time, is it? I actually think it might be Stephen Moore this time. Now Stain missed with his first kick from halfway this one well he's right out in front he has to negotiate those two Australian attendants and Radiki Samo and this is the chance to get some much needed points on the board for the Springboks and he's done it it's eight to three as we approach half time in Wellington and Vickerman has been outstanding Springboks working just to halt the forward momentum. Now off it goes to Pocock. Well, they'll just try and run this down. Springboks look to counter ruck, but a bit of trouble at the back as uh, Guinea gets the ball and a couple of Springboks at the same time and a penalty. Well, Springboks finishing the half well. Well, he is kicking into the breeze, and it's a kick of 50 metres on the angle. And there it goes, but it's, uh, well, never had the legs, never had the distance, and so 
Forced down by Kirtley Beale, and off they go. And the Wallabies have scored the only try of the game. Scored by their skipper, James Horwell, and they lead South Africa at half-time by eight points to three. So it'll be Australia to push into the wind in the second half. Quade Cooper sets us underway. 40 minutes to play for one of these teams. And straight away, the Springboks sending it back up towards halfway. Well, Vickerman's done his job. Matfield continues to do his. And the Springboks have it up for a drive. Nicely set up for a drive. And offside play. And a bit of action off the ball as the Duplessis brothers go to work. Mornay Stain with his fourth kick at goal, but the two he missed were, well, pretty hopeful, really, from well out. This one, well, normally, sort of thing that he doesn't miss. It's good. Doesn't miss today either. And it's closed up to just two points now. Just inside the 22. Dupria wants it. Drop kick, Mornay Stain. Here he goes, Stain. And it is over! Springboks take the lead. Hands on hips, Australia. Hands on heads. They are super rattled. Mornay Stain and South Africa will take these options and opportunities extremely well. So composed, so set. There's the pass. He strikes it perfectly. We know what a sharpshooter he is. The Springboks take the lead. Pilotta now, and uh, Samo comes down heavily, and he's lost the ball. Matfield was all over him for me. Oh, he's got a report from the touch judge here. Yeah, I thought so. Well, this is going to be a chance for the Wallabies to get back in front. James O'Connor will step up. Victor Matfield. It was marginal, Tony, so... The ball had already been won, but it was as he's just on his way down. Watch. He doesn't get him yet. He's holding him, and then he just there. Oh, it's debatable, though. Geez, that's a tough one. Well, no, I think it's, it's gone against Danny Rousseau. He's got him around the legs. It's yeah, gone true. against Danny Rousseau. Good call he has. So, James O'Connor. What a moment in this young man's life. This could put Australia into the semi-final. It could. It looks pretty good. Oh, cool done by this splendid young rugby player. Big hit made on the Springboks there, but they've still got the ball. Danny Rousseau pops it away. Left behind by Lambie. Still got it, the Springboks. No, they've lost it. And that might just be curtains on South Africa's reign as World Cup champions. Time is up. Come on. Australia surely just have to get this in and get it out. It's not that simple. Believe Touch. me, it's. I wish it was for them, but it's not. Touch. Forwards, engage. Stay behind the ball. Well, they've got Stay it in. The Can they get it out? McCalman. They've got it. And the touch. James O'Connor's penalty has put Australia into the semi-finals. South Africa's reign as champions of the World Cup is over.